Hi friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 1 in Azure Logic App Real Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can send an email from Azure Logic App. So, it's a practical video, like many times in real time scenarios, you may encounter a situation where you have to send an email from a Logic App. So, how to do that? How to oh, create a Logic App that will automatically send an email to you? So let me practically show you this with a practical demo. So let's go to browser. In my browser, I have opened Azure portal already. And here, let me try to create a new resource. And that resource is going to be a Logic App resource. So here, search for Logic App and select the option Logic App here. And here, let's click this create button to create a Logic App here. So it will ask you few mandatory details. You need to fill it. So in which resource group you want to keep this logic app. So I want to keep it in a Mahir RG resource group. And then uh, give a name for your logic app. So I will be giving a name like LG maybe Mahir hyphen email. So this is the logic app name I want to give. Okay. Uh, email notification. Okay. So maybe this one. And uh, let it be the region. I don't worry about it. And here. I can select like standard plan or a consumption plan. So let me select a consumption plan that will allow you to pay as per go. That means what whenever you run, whatever the running charges, only that charges will be applicable. Okay. And then simply hit the let other options to be default and hit this review plus create button to create this logic app. So right now what is happening? It is going to validate the details whatever I entered here. And once the validation is complete, it will enable this create button. So let me hit this create button to create this logic app. You can see the deployment is initiated. It will take a couple of uh, seconds to minutes to complete this deployment. You can see deployment is in progress. Great. Logic, I de logic app deployment is completed. Let me click this go to resource to open this logic app. So once you open this logic app in a very first time, it will ask you, it will take you to this designer workspace, uh, I mean designer panel here and inside this you need to select uh, if you want to take a predefined template you can do it or you can go with a blank logic app as well. So let's go with a blank logic app and here so logic apps if you have seen my logic apps playlist you know that. So in the logic apps you need to define a trigger first based upon which trigger this logic app has to run. So let me do one thing. So based upon a HTTP request I want to trigger a logic app. So let's take this request connector here. If you don't see request connector by default there, you can also search here in this search box saying request. So that is going to give you a request connector. In each each and every connector, you will having you will be having a two options: what are all the trigger types for that connector, and what are the, what are all the actions. So triggers and actions, two categories will be there for every connector in the logic app. So let's select this request trigger here. I mean request connector here. So the moment I selected a request connector, it is showing all the triggers available for that request connector. And also under actions tab, it will show you whatever the actions you can perform on top of that connector. So let's go to this triggers menu here. So whenever any HTTP request is received, that's when I want to run my logic app. And inside a logic app, I will be implementing a logic that will send an email. So let's select this when a HTTP request is received trigger here. So let me click that. So that, that will give you this result here. And if you see here, there is no URL right now which is generated. So once I save this logic app, a, a request URL where you have to send a API request that will be generated. So you need to take that URL and then send a API call to run this logic app. So and here, so whenever you make a REST API call for this URL, whatever it is going to generated here, what if you want to supply any request body, then you can mention it. So what I will be doing is uh, in my case, let's assume I will be creating a logic app which will take two address like to whom I have to send an email and also what is the subject to keep and also let's assume what is the email body, right? So all these details I want to dynamically supply to this logic app and uh, it should take all these value and then create an email based upon these details and send. So that is what my requirement. So to do that, what I can do it now here is in the request body, I can take that values from the user who are making this API call. So for that, you need to define a request payload here in certain format. Always I will encourage here you to don't type anything the request JSON automatically here. Simply click this use sample payload and it will open a new dialog. Here 
in which format or in which style the properties and values you are going to send in a request body that you practically uh, do it with a some dummy data so let's assume in my request body i want to send a two property so inside a two property maybe i want to send a email as a string so maybe mahir basha at the rate outlook.com so it, it is not required for you to type the value here you can only use this double quotes as well because it is a sample json what i want to supply that i am entering here the moment i click done it is going to create the payload automatically inside this uh, http request to trigger type wizard i will practically show you so to the two property i will be supplying a string where i will give the uh, email address of the two address then i want to supply a second property called subject for this key or for the property i will be sending a email subject as a string so i will be using a double quotes then comma then enter and then finally the email body thing right so to the email body i will be using a property called email body email underscore body where in a string format i will be giving enter my email body so since everything is a string i use a double quotes here okay so this is the way i want to supply my request body to this http request type logic app so the moment i click done here it will automatically create this payload see here so this one so let me copy this and let me open a notepad and in the notepad let me paste this see here it is hard for us to remember this syntax right so instead of that what i did i used this sample payload i entered the details and at the moment i click done it is automatically giving me this payload now this request http request i want to assign a method so that means whether on a get method it should respond or on a put method or on a post method so how you how you want it to be respond so let's take a post method here so that means whenever a post method is issued for the url whatever it will generate here at that time you need to supply this body once you do that the logic app will run and inside the logic app whatever the actions you have defined all those actions will be performed so now we have configured this trigger which is when a http request is received wizard so after this step in the new step let's try to send a email so that is what the main intention of this video right so i want to send a email for a gmail so i can search for a gmail connector for example if you want to send a email from my office 365 or outlook then you can search for it also so let me search here like outlook also for for your understanding the moment i search it it will give the suggestions here whatever the connectors which will match with this keyword see office 365 outlook connector is there outlook.com connector is there there are lot many so let me use gmail connector here because i want to send email from my gmail from the same gmail id okay so let me select this gmail connector the moment i selected it it is giving me for that connector whatever the triggers available and whatever the actions available so i want to perform some action now right trigger is already happening when a http request is received now for the gmail connector under actions i want to send an email so let me select this email send email action the moment i selected it it is asking me to provide a name for that connection why because logic app has to establish a connection from the gmail account with which you want to send an email right so let me name it like a gmail and then here the authentication type let it be default and click this sign in button so this is where it will ask you to give permissions for this logic app on to your gmail account so that with that gmail account it can send an email so it is redirecting me to that sign in page and here i will be selecting so from mahir3222 at the gmail.com from which i want to send an email and let me click allow button to allow that means i am allowing logic app access to my gmail account so that it can send email from my gmail account which is mahir32 at the rate gmail.com so it is created now once the connection created it changed the widget options now it is asking me to whom you want to send a email and also if you want to send other details also you can so click this add parameter first i want to include a subject i want to include a body and i want to set a importance also for that email whether it is a low high important or low or normal so if you want to include cc attachment bcc fields also you can select it for me these three fields are fine so let me select all that three the moment i selected it if you see now subject field came body field came importance field came so in the importance field let me select it is high important email and in the subject if you remember the two subject and the body details i want to supply 
from the request body here that's why we created a properties called to subject and email body here so what i will be doing from this request body i have to take this values break this property values and use them as a to subject and email bodies here so in the to once you click the cursor here it will give you this add dynamic content wizard here so from the request you want to take it right click this to see more and here from the http request you are getting all these values so i want to take the to property so in the to property i will be mentioning to whom you have to send a email then subject when i click the subject here immediately it is giving me the same suggestions so let me take the subject from the request body and then in the body i want to again go to the when http request is received and take the email body whatever i am sending it here so that's it so if you closely observe now what i did i created a http request type trigger and then i added a gmail connector and send email action and then the two address subject and email body i am taking from the request body and i have set a high importance so that's it now let me hit save button to save this logic app so logic app is saved the moment logic app saved we can see a request url generated here so let me copy this request url and now let me go to postman so postman is a third party tool that will allow you to send a request to any api so right now our logic app is also like a api right so to that logic app url we are sending a post request right we have to send a post request if you see here we have to send a post request and we have to supply this request body to property subject and email body so let's try to make that api call by sending this request uh, details in a request body and let's see whether it will send a email or not so let me go here and here let me try to create a new request here under this collection this is a text collection which i created and here there will be a a new request creation right okay one second yeah, add request okay and here so firstly this is a post method right so let's select this method as post it is a post method let me minimize this here okay i cannot minimize maybe uh, let me and here i should use the url of the api so let me go back to logic app let me copy this url and let me paste that here and then what i should send i should send the request body two property subject property email id property three three properties are string types only so let's select here i have to send a request body and my request body type is raw which is json type okay so now here i should use a json which which will be sent to this api along with this post method so first property in my request body is two so for the two property i can send the email to whom i want to send so i have a outlook account called mahirbasha@outlook.com so let me use that as a email to address and whatever this value is there inside the to that will go and replace here in the to field and for that person the email will be sent and then the second property what i should use it i it should be subject right if you see this is the property name let's copy this property name from here subject control c control v and here in the subject uh, i can mention the value as a string maybe like this is test email subject okay so that is what i will be naming it here as a subject string now this value with this value the email subject will be uh, composed why because that's what i did for the subject i am using that subject from the request body now finally the third property if i see here the third property is email body so let me copy this control c then here i am using it as a email body and here like uh, this is sample email body so this is what i am using it here or maybe i can use it like that also so uh, okay let me do this and then i will let me explain like how to get a line breaks and all basically this everything is a html so inside the string whatever the html you pass that's what it will show let me practically show you that if that doesn't make sense so let me send this request now so it is sending a request for that logic for this api call that means a logic app and you can see uh, the request is accepted now if i go to mahir outlook see this is my email address uh, where i have already connected my email with the mahirbasha@outlook.com you can see it here now if you see i already got an email so this is a test email subject this is the subject of the email and i got the body also and it came from this id see that's how that's how very easily i can send a email so for example i want to add a line breaks and all then what you can do here hi mahir 
comma after that i want to keep a line break so use this br html tag to get that line break and then type your email body then after that again one other line break so use that br tag once again okay br tag once again and then maybe regards so i want to mention regards then again one other, another li line break then after that maybe wafa okay so now what will happen it will generate three lines hi mahir comma then new line this is a sample email body then regards then new line then wafa so let me send this request now let's go to our outlook here and let's wait for see i got a new email and if you see here hi mahir this is sample email see i got it in a proper way uh, maybe i want to generate some html table here so you can do also in the email body you want to generate html table so instead of this thing here maybe i want to generate a table right so what you can do here you can use a html tag called table okay then closing tab table so if you want to generate a row in a html then you should use this hr tag hr then closing hr so this will give you a row then inside a row maybe uh, you want to add a column so tr uh, then closing tag of tr this is this will add one column so i want another column also let's assume so td sorry td td is a column slash td so if you closely observe i have a tr in starting here and ending here and i have a td so this is one column and i have another column okay so maybe inside this td i want to say like maybe anything so let me type some dummy value here so inside a td first td i am say, saying like uh, this is cell one okay then in the second td i am saying like cell two so now for this uh, table let's give some border border equals to in a single quotes one so that i can make sense which is actually giving a table so now let me send this request and let's see what will happen i am sending a request request to send now email will come so if you see this email i see i got hi mahir and i created a small table with one row cell one and cell two maybe i want another row also so what you can do you can copy this entire row from here to closing tag of td control c copy and then paste it so now in the second row i want to say like little, little, maybe this is like cell three and then cell four so like this you can prepare your html string and you can send in an email body so let me send this so email uh, so request to send now if i wait for the uh, email to come here so i got an email and i can see right so this is how very easily you can send a email using a logic app using a http trigger and also a gmail connector or outlook connector based upon your requirement and select the send email action and do the things how i did it thank you for watching Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.